which, which uh, traverses the, the southern part of France. A spokesman for Number 10 Downing Street said that the Prime Minister, Theresa May, was being kept up to date on events in Nice, saying that our thoughts are with all those affected by this terrible incident on what was a day of national celebration. A day of national celebration, but Lucy, as you are evidence, attracts tourists from, from everywhere and a great destination, Nice, for, for British people on holiday. Mm. And the sad thing about it, and know this is awful and maybe a bit selfish, but um, it spoiled. It did spoil our shopping trip. Um, I've got. All, we, we bought all this lo lovely shopping, and now I just can't be bothered with it. It just doesn't mean anything now. Well, certainly pictures that you won't have seen uh, are absolutely horrific. Pictures that are already available show the uh, the trail of carnage that this truck uh, caused. Um, and obviously this is a major, major incident. Uh, we're hearing different figures for the numbers who may have been killed in this. The president of the Nice region saying that at least 60 people have died in this truck attack on Bastille Day. Another source speaking to the iTele TV station said that up to 73 people are now thought to have died. Uh, but Lucy, what time of day did this happen? Did it happen before or after the, the fireworks celebrations? No, this was during. Um, and we... This would have happened about nine o'clock our time, which I think is, um, we're an hour ahead of you. So, the, oh no, actually my friend has just said the fireworks were, would have, were at 10.30. So it was happening then, I, I've, I've lost track of time. I'm just so shocked. Um, I'm still shaking to be quite honest. I'm it was just. Yeah, I'm not surprised you're, you're shaking. The Interior Minister for France, Bernard Casanova, is on his way to Nice. A Le Figaro newspaper is saying that several weapons, guns and grenades have been found inside the lorry that drove over a crowd, according to a local source, suggesting a premeditated terror attack. And Lucy, from what you heard from the crowd's movements, did you hear any gunfire at all? Yes, well we did, but I thought it was fireworks, because as I said, if it was 10.30, I can't remember what time we sat in this restaurant, and as I say, I didn't plan to sit in this restaurant, I planned just to go to the loo, and I, I'm sorry I'm saying that, but that is the truth, and then we were going to go down, we were one block away from the promenade, and we were going to go and watch the fireworks, and um, I texted my daughter and told her that we were, we were safe and everything was fine, but I kind of said that the toilet saved us, to be quite honest, and I know that's an awful thing to say, but I do feel that if I hadn't have gone, I would have been down there. And I don't know. And I'm one of these people that I like to get in with the crowd, so I would have liked to have seen what was going on. So I, I don't, you know, would we be here now? Would I be talking to you? Probably not. Did you see a sense of panic? Did you see people running past the window of the, of the restaurant you were in? No, the, the panic was, I've never seen anything like it. When I, we've had uh, the uh, minstrel here, which is when the weather, mistrel, sorry, when the weather is um, very windy, and we've had three days of it here, and um, before the attack, I would say just before the attack, there was this horrendous wind. All the tables in the restaurant, um, all the glasses were flying off the tables, um, and the serviettes, everything was going on the floor. It was really strange, but it was one side of, of the road, so to the left of where I was sitting. And in the end, we chose to go in, because I thought that maybe there was um, some sort of tornado, and that's when the people were screaming, hundreds of them running down the street. So I thought it was part of this tornado thing, of um, uh, this terrible weather we were having here with the wind. So... At first, I wasn't aware until everybody came screaming into the restaurant and one lady collapsed. I wasn't aware what was going on. And then I realized and then somebody said there's 20 people dead. And then obviously the number went up. And as far as I know, before we left, it was 60 people and 100 injured. But I'm not quite sure what the toll really is. And was there a sense, a celebratory sense of mood before this, um, given yes. that uh, Bastille Day is the, is the French national ho holiday? It was, it was wonderful. Um, we arrived in the afternoon and we met such lovely people in, in shops and they were so kind to us when we were trying things on, etc. And it was just such a wonderful day. Um, and everybody was in a very good, happy mood, people smiling. It, it was, I'd never, I haven't spent too much time in Nice, but this time it felt really special to be there. And it was just really unfortunate that the day ended as it did.
Well, the, uh, the pictures of the emergency service still at the scene, still working. Obviously, you have left the area, but presumably you'll want to cut short your holiday, do you think? No, well, I, I'm, I am flying home tomorrow evening, and I just pray that everything goes well, because I'm sure there'll be more security at the airport now tomorrow. Um, but I have to go back there. I have to go back to Nice tomorrow to fly home. So I'm just praying that, um, that I'm able to get home, because that's what I want to do now. I don't want to be here, and that's an awful thing to say, and that's very selfish when people have lost their lives. But um, I guess I just, it really hits home, and I just want to be with my children. And how will you reflect on what has happened when you get home? I think I'm probably going to cry. <laughs> I'm just so shocked. I, I'm, I'm so, so shocked, really. Um, it, it's hard to explain. Um, there's so much shock, I suppose, and the adrenaline that's rushing through my body at the moment, and I'm still shaking. I just think that um, it's shocking to do this. I mean, I just don't understand it. I never have understood it. And terrorism is, is awful. And it's hard enough, it's hard enough um, getting on with your life without having all of this going on. Life's tough sometimes without killing people. Lucy nesbitt um, thank goodness you're safe. Safe journey home tomorrow. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you.